Hey, it's Soleil, and this is episode 114 of the Orange Pill Investor. It's Friday. That means it's roll day. So let's blast through the trades. And not exactly going to do a speed run, but just going to go through them all, and let's see how long this takes. <clears throat> the only thing that I'll say outside of doing the trades is Ethereum is an unregistered security. So do what you will with that information. All right, so this is the main account. I added some uh, MicroStrategy shares kind of late in the week <clears throat> and actually added this 1300 strike covered call for today, which is going to, if I let this expire, you know, go towards <clears throat> the end of the day, this will probably expire worthless, but Ain't, ain't nobody got time for that. So not sure if I will actually put all three covered calls on this week. But let me start with the one that's... Oh, actually, I already did put this one on for next week. The 1320 strike. So that was a little bit... Uh, maybe a little over ambitious. So this one I will leave on, and let me roll. Actually, I'm going to close it, close it and roll. Let's see if I can get that to close for a little cheaper. Okay, cool. And let's close this one for 300 profit as well. All right, good to do. All right, got 305 shares of MicroStrategy. Got one covered call set up for next week at 1320. That does make me a little nervous. <clears throat> I don't like having that. That's only 10% call away. When I set this up yesterday, it actually had 20% call away value in it. But of course, MicroStrategy is up 100 bucks in the last week. So hoping this does not rip my face off but let's go out to next week and some people were asking like okay what delta do you target i used to just go for the 0.3 delta so i would go here and kind of use this as my baseline and i would either go above it or below it depending on how much premium i can collect and how bullish i am on the stock <clears throat> And over the next couple of years, and probably the next 20 years, I couldn't be more bullish on MicroStrategy. Doesn't mean it's not going to have violent movement uh, based on what Bitcoin is doing. But building this in at 1320 would not be quite 10% call away. So while the premium is great, the premium is like 3% ROI for the week. Um, that makes me a little nervous, especially since I already have this one, <laughs> this one at 1320. So if I want to bake in 20% call away, that's another 240 bucks. So I got to go all the way to 1460, maybe 1450. Sometimes there's more liquidity on the whole numbers. Like you can see the bid ask spread here is 450, whereas the bid ask spread at 1445 is six. 50. And the bid ask spread at 14.55 is seven, almost seven, 6.50. So grabbing the 14.50 is not too bad. That's actually just over. Well, if I can get this for 12 to fit for, to fill for uh, 12, hmm, I might have been able to squeeze a little bit more out of that. Okay, so I got paid 1240. That is enough to buy another share of MicroStrategy. So I'm limiting my upside to 20% this week, but I'm also putting some buying power back into my account and I can buy some more MicroStrategy and go unlimited long with it. All right, so do I want to add the third covered call? Let me just see how much MicroStrategy if I buy one, that only, <laughs> so 
I don't like when I just have enough to sell an extra covered call and then I only have those five shares of unlimited upside. So I'm probably not going to collect. Let's see. I picked up 2500 So if I just pick up another, this is on margin, so I can probably get two shares for the price of one. And I, I set this limit order because when, when MicroStrategy was crashing, I'm like, all right, if it gets down into the 900s, I can pick up five shares here. <clears throat> so now I got 307. But seven shares is not really going to cut it if MicroStrategy rips. However, if I sell one more, then I can buy a few more shares as well. So I got one at the 1320. I got one at 1450. So if I split the difference and just go right at 1400, pick up another. Let's try to get uh, try to get 1900 for this one. No, nope, didn't sell. Them. So let's just walk this down a little bit. 1870. Nope. Walk it down a little farther, 1835. This one will fill, yep. All right, so I generally like to keep like 20% buying power compared to margin. So that would be 54,000. Just in case MicroStrategy takes another dump. But I just added, what? I got paid 1800 for that one. So I can pick up another three shares. All right, this makes me feel a little bit better. So I've capped my profits on MicroStrategy. One of the 100 shares is at 1320, one is at 1400, one is at 1450. So kind of a blend of like 10% call away, 15% call away probably, and 20% call away value. Um, that is a little scary because if, <laughs> if MicroStrategy ripped to 1,500 or 2,000 again, or even higher, this would be tragic. So let me just do a little something that <clears throat> somebody was talking about. He said he puts a collar on his. So he's long, but he buys some puts. And so actually, I'm going to do something maybe a little dumb, but we'll see. So for May 10th, I'm just going to buy some calls. I, I never do this. I'm not really much of a call buyer, but... Let's make this as cheap. Uh, let me just, this is a pain in the ass. Um, so let me just go way up here. Because <clears throat> I don't want to spend a lot of money for this. But if I was to get 10, just crazy cheap <laughs> uh, calls way up here in the nosebleed section, maybe like the 3,000. The bid ask spread is disgusting up here as well. The mark price would be like 75. So let's just try to come in here and buy 10 of these. And I'm gonna try to walk this up quite a bit. Let me just start out here super cheap. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> I thought it was super cheap and it got an immediate fill. That is hilarious. So th this is probably just a complete waste of money. 
um, which is why I never do it. My, you know, but so it's my trade price. <laughs> so the, now the mid price is like 18 cents. So not only was this probably a bad idea, but I may have even screwed the pooch on way, just way overpaying for this. All right, well, rookie mistakes. And this is why I'm not an option buyer. But I don't even know if this has a real word. You know, the guy was calling it a collar when he buys a put. Just in case something tanks. I think that's what he was, the way he described it. And so I'm, I'm limiting my upside, so I'm kind of putting something reverse into that. If MicroStrategy were to pump to 2,000, then the value of these would pump uh, big time. But the problem is, on these short expirations, 20% of the value of these options are draining out every single day, and there's only five days left. So this move, this this move would have to happen over the weekend, probably. Bitcoin and MicroStrategy, you know, if Bitcoin pumps to 70 again. And then MicroStrategy pumps back to two, then this you know this could be a winner or whatever. But I guess I'm it's like buying insurance, I suppose. So I'm fully expecting this to not work out. But at the price of 360 bucks, which is like I don't know, that's kind of expensive. If I got paid three to five grand in premium, I just paid 10% of that for insurance. Yeah, I don't think I like it. Um, but here and here's what it is. I think this kind of makes sense a little bit because I have so few unlimited upside shares. I only have 10 MicroStrategy shares that are unlimited upside. And so just adding in a few quote-unquote cheap shares, maybe this makes sense. I really don't know. So not financial advice. This is just what I'm doing. And uh, we'll see if it works out. Let me just cancel this. As soon as I cancel my limit purchase for 925, it'll probably crash to 925. So that'll be fun. But that actually gave me a little bit more buying power. So let's buy three more. And that gets me roughly back to having 10% margin available. I did pick up 100 shares of Tesla yesterday. I felt a little Tesla poor. And I had created these poor man's covered calls. And those finally worked out. And really the price of the price of Tesla, you know, buying 100 shares on margin was only six grand, which is not much more expensive than this covered call that I created, you know, the, the synthetic stock that I created here. So I went ahead and bought shares instead of buying more, uh, more leaps. But let's go ahead and close these for today. Uh, these actually kind of broke even. So I only got like one day, I think, of premium on this. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. These are the these are the, uh, the cover calls I set up all week. Okay. So I really didn't get a whole lot on this one. Um, and then <laughs> this one that I set up yesterday, I mean, I sold it for 50 bucks just on an overnight. So I'll be able to close that for just a tiny little bit of profit. All right, so let's just close that one first. And same here. Let's just get that done. All right, Tesla. So I've got two poor man's, well, they're not poor man's covered calls yet because I haven't sold the covered call against it yet. But I've got two 150 strike. And the delta on these is probably around 75. 
73, um, which isn't the best. He could probably be a little bit deeper in the money for safety. Uh, when Tesla was down into the 150, these were in seriously in danger. But I just bought a couple more and lowered my my cost basis. Uh, but the cost basis on my Tesla shares is 180 bucks, which should be good news because that means that I can choose any strike over 180. And if they get called away, I don't lose money. So if I want to bake 10% call away, I would have to go to the 198-ish strike. Now that's only going to provide, and this is why I kind of haven't really been trading as much Tesla because the premium is just not great. Uh, but then keep in mind on margin, I only paid half for these. So really I only paid like six grand for these. So getting 65 bucks on six grand is actually 1%. So let's do that. Actually, that makes me feel a little bit about this trade. And then for the poor man's covered calls, this one's a little trickier. There's some formulas that you can find. Uh, was it was it blue collar investments? Huh, there's a website. I'm gonna try to find it. But they've got a nice little calculator for how to make sure that you're building enough call away value so that if Tesla was to do something just insanely crazy, like go to two fifty by next week or, you know, 300. Um, this 180, I'm sorry, this 197 call would get completely wrecked, which is fine because I own the shares. I can just let them get called away. But if you're $50,000 upside down on a covered call, then you better make damn sure that this leaps, the synthetic stock is going to appreciate at the same rate. Now the good news is the farther this gets in the money, the more it starts acting like stock. But as it stands right now, this is probably like a, a, a 0.7 delta. For every dollar that the stock goes up, this, this is only gonna appreciate 70 cents. So if it goes up $50, uh, the price of this would only go up maybe like 35 bucks. So, um, you do have to make sure that you don't get wrecked. So 35 bucks plus the current cost, you know, this would go up to being worth about uh, eight, you know, 80 bucks a share, uh, which would pretty much keep pace. So if you're, you know, if you're uh, $50, five grand underwater here, and this goes up eight grand, then probably all right. But I'm just gonna eyeball it. And if, and so if these are worth, um, if these are worth five grand, then I'm gonna target 1% of that. So uh, $50 per share, so 1% of that would be 50 cents. So again, I mean, it's pretty close to, yeah, I could probably just grab the 150, I'm sorry, the 197, 50 and get paid around 50 bucks for this. So let's do two of them. One for each of the poor man's covered calls. And it didn't want to fill. So let's walk this down to 57, which is the the bid. All right, got fills. So not making crazy amounts of money here, but putting a just putting a little bit of profit, you know, booking some profits every week is the name of my game. 
All right, what else do I got? I got anything else expiring today? Yeah, this was the experiment. This was the pre-earnings experiment <laughs> that it definitely proved the hypothesis. And right, I'm going to save for later. I trade this with my son, so I'll I'll give him a call when I'm done recording, and I will make that happen. But just for... Uh, haha. Right, if I build a dollar, uh, call away value into this, you know, go up to the 12, right? Can collect 18, 17 cents on this. So 1% of 10 bucks would be 10 cents. So can get about 15. Sorry, not 15, yeah, uh, one and a half percent well, premium and a bake in 10% call away value. So that's probably what we'll target. We may, we could do the 11 and a half, um, get twice as much premium, but then could potentially be leaving uh, 50 cents a share on the table if riot pumps again but not the end of the world and we have 200 shares too so we could do one at 12 and one at 11.50 you know it's completely flexible all right let's look at the 5k account challenge so this is this is good news this is getting <laughs> closer <laughs> to 5,000. so within a couple of weeks i turned 5k into like three as i was buying at all-time highs and uh, sometimes that doesn't work out too well. But you got to start somewhere. If you've got money sitting in cash, it's getting eaten up by inflation. So uh, short-term heartburn, but this is totally fine. All right, Hut. I'm going to buy this back for a penny. Times 100, of course, so I'll pay a buck for this. Unless it doesn't close, then I'm gonna have to, I might have to. The bid ask spread is up to two, so I may have to go up to and pay two dollars for this. Cool. All right. If I try to bake. 10% call away value in here. That means I got to add 85 cents to the price of this. So let's go to a dollar. So like 950. Okay, boom. Uh, which is about two and a half percent on premium and 10% call away value. So I like it. Let's see if we can get it to fill for the mid price. Five, four, three, two, one. Nope. Let's walk it down and just smash the bid. If you are doing a small account, I mean, try to squeeze every dollar you can out of these. But if your time is more precious than the dollar, then smash the bid if you want. All right, next one on the list, Mara. I got a couple of these. So let's buy this back for two bucks. And that was the 22. I'm just going to go ahead and buy the other one back. Don't I have 200 shares of this? Yeah, where's my other call? Here we go. Buy this one back for two bucks as well. And let's view all options. Mara is at 17 right now. So if I bake approximately $2 call away value into this for 10%, I would be looking at around the 1950. Whoops. So. All right, that is what? That's like 3% premium 
and 10% call away, that's that works out nicely in my book. Let's just check the delta. Yeah, so I'm just eyeballing these. I mean, I've been doing this a while, so I can just kind of in my head figure out, okay, if I at least want 10% call away value, how much premium can I get for that? Or sometimes I'll be like, okay, I want to at least get 1% premium, which would all be way the hell up here. Um, if I only want 1% premium, I could bake in like 20% call away value into this. So uh, just, a, just a matter of what you want to do. So I'm actually going to do one at 54. Try to get 54 for this one. Come on, Phil, you rat bastard. All right, we'll do 53. There we go. Okay. And then I'll just bake a little bit of extra, you know, an extra 50 cents of call away value in for this one. Let's see if we can get 44. That should fill. Come on. There we go. All right. We got Hut out of the way. We got Mar out of the way. Oh, and actually... Yeah, my riot is still May 31st. This one, maybe this will be time to roll. Because uh, I'm upside down on this. And I'm kind of, it, when did I sell it? Um, April 16th. So it's been a couple of weeks. So whatever premium I had in this is probably gone. I've collected a little bit of theta. So I'm just going to pay the debit and close this. This was kind of, I was kind of forced to do some dumb things back when I was in danger of getting a margin call. And so that was my mistake was overextending my uh, 1.75. Overextending myself using margin on this account. And it caused me to have to take a little bit of a a loss and a bad a bad take, really. All right, buy for one eighty. No, not one eighty. But I didn't I just try to buy this for back for one seventy five and it wouldn't take one seventy five. Come on, Phil. Usually when it says high fill likelihood, that's usually telling the truth, but all right. I'm I'm wasting time quibbling about like you know what about dollars. So this this should just straight up fill. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be shocked. Oh <laughs> so the bid ask the bid ask spread keeps creeping up. As I as I offer more, they keep demanding more. This is hilarious. So now once I cancel that, we'll see if the bid ask spread it is the price of Marit just move or riot moving on me? Let me try 180 now. <laughs> uh, sometimes it bees like that. This is hilarious. All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna smash the ask. There we go. This is fucking hilarious. All right. So let me go back to doing my weeklies that I prefer. I could have let that just marinate for another couple of weeks, but I feel like I would be missing out on some of the juicy weekly premiums that can be had. So 10% call away. I need to go up to like 11.75. So let's do 12. Get about one, almost 2% premium, but still baked in a $1.25, um, you know, so for call away value, that works for me. All right, I got 510, 510, 510, 510. 
what am I missing? Yeah, I got rid of CLSK. You know what? What I heard uh, Adrian Morris talking about Iris Energy. This is super cheap. But let me see if this is trading in pennies or nickels on the increments. If I was going to try to sell a covered call for next week, would I be able to? Yeah, see, but that spread is between 10 and 15. I, I avoid nickels like the plague. I mean, if you're trading MicroStrategy and the, the cost of your your options are, you know, tens of dollars, then a nickel doesn't matter. But trading something this small and having to go up a nickel or down a nickel is unbearable to me. So got a lot more breathing room and uh, loving that. <clears throat> so let's see. I should have been paying attention. And let's see, how much did I pay? Okay. So collected 20 bucks, 65, $20, $40. So collected about 140 bucks. So let's store that $140 in the form of MicroStrategy. Let's buy some fractional shares. And the next time that MicroStrategy pumps to <laughs> anything over my average cost, my cost basis, uh, then I will probably go ahead and <clears throat> sell some and then buy another 100 shares of HUD or Riot or, Micro, or, excuse me, or Amara, whatever, whatever I'm into at that time. Probably HUD since it's the cheapest, and that would allow me to – to sell another covered call, you know, or more covered calls faster. And to me, that's the name of the game is I want to get this account to the point where I'm actually able to buy a hundred shares per week of something instead of just buying fractional shares, you know, cause I've only collected $140 worth of premium this week. Um, obviously with 140 bucks, you can't buy a hundred shares <laughs> of, of hut. So that's the goal. We shall see <clears throat> how this works out for next week. All right. That's all the trades for the week. That's how simple and easy it is to sell covered calls and collect some premium, uh, add some more shares with that premium. <clears throat> and let's just double check. Oh, I didn't do the IRA account. All right, so hut. Let's close this bad boy. <clears throat> and let's close. Hmm. I might actually have to roll this one unless I'm going to. All right, let's roll expirations to next week. And where was I at? I was at the uh, the big 240 into this. That puts me at 1470. So maybe let's look at an IRA account. I'm I'm way less greedy on the premium. So let me go. Yeah, to 1470. I'm only going to be able to roll this for a small credit. Um, let's try to roll it. Let's try to get a little bit more. Because this filled way too quickly last time. But you know what? Maybe I should just go to 15. Let me cancel this.
what can I get at the 1500? 1500 might be a little bit better bid ask spread, a little bit better liquidity since the whole number doesn't really look like it. $4 bid ask spread here, $4 bid ask spread here. But from this view, I really can't see the open interest on this. But let's try to get the tiniest of credits here. Probably have to walk this down. Oh, wait, this is actually in reverse. Hold up. Uh, because I am having to buy this back for probably around $8, and I'm only collecting a little bit more than that. So actually, I want to... I want to collect. I gotta go the other direction. Let's try to collect a little bit of credit on this. This is not gonna fill. I'm already, I'm confident about that. All right, so let's try to collect a little bit less. Let's see if I can get this to fill for any credit whatsoever. A buck. Sixty cents. <laughs> Fifty. Whoa. Point five. Okay. Got to fill. Got to pay fifty bucks. Uh, but I was able to ba uh, bake. So this was going to get called away at 1250 this week. <clears throat> I actually got paid 900, but I'm able to roll that strike all the way up to 1500. So I've got like 20% call away value in this one. Uh, let's do. So now I've got some a little bit of buying power to play with. It's not enough to get a share of MicroStrategy. So let's get some shares of HUT. I don't like having buying power. Uh, 292 bucks. If I'm paying $9 a share, what is that going to be? 30? I could probably get 34, 31. 32, 270, 33, boom, hmm, I can actually get one more, nice. All right, so my IRA has no buying power left. I like that. And let's check my positions. Got the <laughs> you can see this one what was this down like twenty grand? Yeah. Um, but still, the value on this right now is about fifty thousand. And I collected almost a grand on the premium this week, even though I had to basically pay all of that to roll it from last week. Uh, but last week, I used that premium to buy an extra share of MicroStrategy. So it's still all working out. As long as my shares is constantly increasing, that is my goal. Um, but, you know, so collecting 1% of this would be 5 So I actually collected about 2% premium on this and baked in 20% call away value on the price of MicroStrategy. If, if this goes, you know, up to my strike, an extra $300 
a share, the delta on this is 70. So 300 times 0.7. Is that 20? Yeah. Three hundred times one seven, yeah, three hundred twenty one, yeah. Um the value of this would go up to probably five ten. And then and at the delta will actually increase as well as this becomes deeper in the money. So probably a little bit more than five ten. We'll see. All right, almost forgot the IRA, but uh, got to remember to do that. Um, actually, oh, this sucks. I need two shares of HUT to get to 200, and then I could sell. Oh, I didn't sell a covered call. Okay, so that's cool. Um, let's see what I can sell a covered call and get. Look at that. I'm going to be able to. See, this is this is when it starts to multiply. So let's bake in a dollar of call away value here. I get paid sixteen bucks. Now I can buy two more shares of hut. And now I can sell another covered call in HUT. And now I've got another <laughs> 15 bucks and I can buy two more shares of HUT. That's that's the be the beauty of this strategy. You're selling covered calls you're constantly adding shares. You add enough shares, you get to sell more covered calls, and it's just a it just starts to snowball. So I'm glad I I'm glad I picked up on that. I almost <laughs> that almost uh, slipped my mind. Uh, I almost forgot to sell the covered calls against HUT. I, I, I focus on the micro strategy obviously because that's where the majority of the premium comes from. But these little guys can add up over time as well. So all right, that's it for now. All right, be good, y'all.